In this section, we will study the protocol stacks between the 5G system entities. So this means that we will study the protocol stack between the user equipment and the 5G core network functions, or between the 5G access network and the 5G core network functions, or finally, between the different 5G core network functions or mainly using the service-based interface. So, practically the 5G access node protocol stack is a set of protocols or layers which are related to the access network and those layers are hiding the complexity of the wireless interface by presenting it as a software interface that is similar to the wired connection. The user plane of the 5G new radio, as we will see, is containing the physical layer, the MAC layer, the RLC layer, and the PDCP, which is the same layer architecture of the LTE, and has introduced a new layer, which is called SDAP, or Service Based Service Data Adaptation Protocol. On the other side, the control plane of the 5G new radio is identical to that of the LTE, with the exception, of course, is that the MME equivalent node in the 5G is the AMF. Here you should note, please, that the main source of my information in this section is the 3GPP standards. And specifically, the name for this standard is called <coughs> 3GPP TS 23.501 version 15.2.0 release 15. And here is my understanding and simplification for this part. We will start with the 5G protocol stack for user plane. And if you remember the LTE protocol stack, you can notice from this diagram that there are many similarities between the LTE protocol stack and the 5G new radio protocol stack. And the reason for this is because the LTE protocol stack is being taken as the basis for the development of 5G new radio. The protocol stack for the user plane, which is also called the data plane, which is the actual plane carrying the network user traffic, is actually related to the BDU session, where the PDU is transported between the user equipment and the BDN during the BDU session establishment. So as you can see, for the user plane, the 5G new radio user plane contains the physical layer, the MAC layer, the RLC layer, the same as LTE, and has introduced a new layer, which is called the SDAP, Service Data Adaptation Protocol. We already explained the different layers of 5G Neo Radio in a previous section, and we will continue here with the protocol stack of both user plane and control plane. But just we can give a highlight about the different layers we have. So the user plane protocol stack is split into the following layers. The SDAP, which is a service data adaptation protocol. BDCB, which is the packet data convergence protocol, RLC, which is a radio link control, and MAC, which is a medium access control layer. And if you remember, we have mentioned that the physical layer is offering to the MAC sublayer transported channels, and the MAC sublayer is offering the logical channels to the RLC sublayer, and RLC supplier is offering to the BDCB supplier the RLC channels, and the BDCB supplier is offering to the SDAB supplier the radio peers, and lastly, the SDAB supplier is offering to the 5G core the quality of service flows. And for the new layer, which is the SDAB service data adaptation protocol, it has many services and functions. For example, it is mapping between the quality of service flow and the data radio peer, as we mentioned. Also, it is marking the quality of service flow in both downlink and uplink packets. 
And also, there is a single protocol entity of SDAP, which is configured for each individual PDU session. Secondly, the BDCP layer or packet data convergence protocol layer has many functions also and services, including sequence numbering, header compression and decompression, transfer of user data, reordering and duplicate detection, and finally, ciphering and deciphering. The third layer we have is RLC, which is a radio link control layer. And the main functions and services of the RLC supplier is depending on the transmission mode. And it's including mainly the transfer of upper layer PDUs, sequence numbering independent of the one which is used in BDCP, error correction, segmentation and resegmentation, and RLC re-establishment. And finally, the MAC layer, which we mentioned before, the media access control, is also offering many functions and many services. For example, mapping between the logical channels and the transport channels, multiplexing and demultiplexing of MAC SDUs belonging to one or different logical channels, scheduling information reporting, also it is performing error correction, and lastly it is performing priority handling.